it appears the D.C. region native Josh Harris may be the front runner. And you may be asking, who is Josh Harris? Well, he already owns the Philadelphia 76ers and the New Jersey Devils. Okay. So let's get to the experts, the ones that know more about all of this. And we've got <laughs> Axios reporter reporting Rails is not the only person interested in buying the Commanders. Businessman Josh Harris would reportedly be his partner. Harris previously voiced interest in buying the team after its current owners, the Snyders, announced they would explore a potential sale. Like Rails, Harris has local ties too. He attended the field school in D.C. growing up, but he has a much deeper background in the world of professional sports. He owns both the Philadelphia 76ers and the New Jersey Devils of the NBA and NHL, respectively. That said, you may be curious, do do these men have the money to actually purchase the Commanders? Last month, our Darren Haynes reported the Snyders were looking to sell the team for up to $7 billion. Well, according to Forbes, Harris is worth more than $6 billion. Rails is worth $5.6. Right now, Dan Snyder is worth $4.9. Johnson, the latest person to want a part of the Commanders. Johnson apparently joining NBA and NHL team owner Josh Harris of the Sixers and the Devils. Dan Snyder said to be asking $7 billion in a potential sale of the team. NBA legend Magic Johnson has joined a bid to acquire the NFL's Washington Commanders from embattled owner Daniel Snyder. A representative from Magic Johnson Enterprises confirmed to CNN that the former NBA star has joined a bidding group for the Commanders that is led by billionaire Philadelphia 76ers and New Jersey Devils co-owner Josh Harris. Tom, you're out in Philadelphia. <laughs> what do Philly fans think of Josh Harris and his handling of the 76ers? What, they like Josh Harris, guys, because Josh Harris is an owner that's not afraid to spend. He puts money into his franchises, the Devils, as you mentioned, the 76ers. Don't forget as well, he owns part of a club with the Premier League mm -hmm. in the soccer Crystal world Palace. as well. He's not, correct, he's not afraid to spend, but what makes him attractive to a group is once he owns, he doesn't meddle. He really lets the 76ers be run by Daryl Morey. He lets Tom Fitzgerald run the Devils. He's not a hands-on owner. He likes to make money, don't get me wrong. Yeah. And he's made a lot of it in his life. But, but, he's not a meddlesome owner. And every one of his franchises that he has touched has improved dramatically. As the NFL owners' meetings loom this weekend, I feel that Josh Harris is the front runner to be the next owner of the Washington Commanders. And... That isn't etched in stone. That isn't something that's a guarantee. But if I was a betting man, I would I would say it's Josh Harris. And and um Mr. Rails and Magic Johnson group. And I think that would be a great thing for this organization. I mean, you know, I know a lot of us would be like anything's better than Dan Snyder running the organization, but I think Dan would actually do us a significant favor if he sells the team to Josh Harris and the Mr. Rails and the Magic Johnson group. For one, Josh and and Mr. Rails, they, they're D.C. natives, so it got to be a little love for the team there. And then what Josh has done with the Sixers making them back a credible organization and the job he's done in New Jersey. And then the job that Magic Johnson has done as an executive for the Lakers and what he's done in the ownership group of with the Dodgers. I think Magic could connect with the people of D.C. And I think Josh Harris would be a, a really good owner. His track record shows it. And Magic's track record shows it. And with a team that's just been going through tumultuous, hideous things. A flagship organization of the National Football League has basically been a dumpster fire for the last 25 years. And I really think that this group would be the group, not to necessarily save the franchise, but getting the franchise back to credible, getting the franchise back to winning, getting the new stadium, getting the people back in the stadium. I think Josh Harris, the Josh Harris group would be the best thing if Dan Snyder sells. I think it would be the best thing that Dan has done for this franchise since bringing Joe Gibbs back when he bought him back in 2005. Let's take command.